Welcome back to Jesters of Ravenloft, where a group of comedians try to escape the horrors of the mists. In a stroke of extreme luck, the troop managed to get the jump on a group of hecklins. New Rogue made effective use of his deadly spectral hands. Tyler did some impressive blade singing to hold his own, though he got stabbed rather badly in the process. Del summoned a boar and finished off the remaining hecklins, and Shadow Nemesis received a flute of rats and ignored the combat in favor of trying to mobilize the were rats. Under pop culture infused orders from New Rogue, the werefolk are holding off the armies outside. But does the troop really have what it takes to find and defeat streamlabbing Tyler? I doubt it. <laughs> Our heroes, but specifically New Rogue, were leading the charge into the rootless evergreen. They'd made their way up through tunnels, the gaps in the roots that allowed them to climb up into the central trunk of the tree, where combat ensued. New Rogue was facing off with three hecklins, bald versions of Tyler with six arms and a whole lot of daggers. And it seemed like they were going to get the jump on our heroes, but due to freakishly bad rolls, our heroes got the jump on them. Even with that happening... Uh, Tyler got the absolute ever-loving shit stabbed out of him by multiple bad guys. New Rogue choked people to death, literally using his spectral hands. <clears throat> and Shadow Nemesis received a flute of rats, which was designed to help him control the rats that came out of his hat of rats, but he's missing his bag of holding, so he spent all of combat trying to summon were-rats and take control of them. When one finally arrived, he spent two rounds of combat talking with that were-rat, at which point <laughs> Dell joined combat. She tunneled her way up with Rumple Foreskin, made her way forwards and finished off the hecklins who were battling with Tyler. New Rogue used a series of pop culture references to give orders to the werefolk who had joined them on this quest, who are now heading down to hold off the army of hecklins and jecklins outside, while our heroes continue their way up the tower to defeat stream labbing Tyler. I feel like everything that I miss anything. Del summoned a boar, so a boar is currently a boar. Party. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Doctor yeah. Deputy is there, but currently unarmed. And Rumple Foreskin has joined the party here to kick some butt. Yeah. I still don't have my bag of holding. Huh. That is correct. What mm. a curious I event. Know. I must have dropped it. I'm gonna oh, need some gosh. rat people to help me out. <laughs> well, yeah. you can't have them because they all <laughs> left. <laughs> all righty. It's time for us to return oh. to Ravenloft. Rumple Foreskin climbs out of the tunnel to join with the rest of you. Dr. Deputy has staggered out of his own little tunnel off to the side, and he walks up to you, Shadow Nemesis, and says, Hey, I heard you wanted someone to look for your bag. Should I do that? I can't fight anyone unless he tells me. Hmm. Oh, yes, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, go, go, uh, I mean, hmm. I, okay, everybody ran away. Like all, they all the all the were people to go defend the base of the trunk. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Here's here's what we'll do, Doctor Deputy. Uh, you kind of just you know go to everybody here, just kind of nonchalantly, just be like, "Have you seen the bag?" I'll try to when summon you say some. Everybody rat here. Do you mean everybody right here, or you want me to go down to the war zone? Yeah, oh, are you no, talking no, no, about no. us? Uh, one second, Tyler. I'm in the middle of a conversation. So, uh, yes, go okay. talk to everybody here in this room. I'm going to summon some rat people to also look for my bag of holding because it is okay. very important. Okay. I'll ask. Okay, just a second. And he pops a little hand on his hip and leans off to the side and he leans against one of the little roots on the wall and he's like, Hey, Uncle Juice, did you see a bag anywhere? <laughs> I, I, I did not, little one. Oh, that's too bad, because that'd be pretty cool. And he turns around and leans the other arm and pops the other hip. And he's like, what about you, Del? You, de you see a bag anywhere? I only see us about to die soon if we don't go fight a thing. Oh, thank you for that. And he does a little pirouette and then lands on the floor and poses like Burt Reynolds on that <laughs> one famous cover. What about you, evil boss? Did you see a bag anywhere? I haven't seen any bags. I kick a dagger from one of the hecklins over to uh, Dr. Deputy and say, there you go. That's for you. We definitely Yay! got someone for you to kill. Okay, who do I kill? Who got, who got killed? This sounds way more fun than looking for a bag. He looks, uh, he kind of <laughs> looks like me, and uh, I think he's up this way. Uh, how are we all feeling after that? I, uh, oof, thank you so much, Del. I, uh, I was gonna die. Uh, how are you? How are you doing right now? By the way, 
I've been better. Uh, still, you know, in a lot of pain and I'm cut and bleeding, but I'm here. I, take a Tylenol and then I'm going <laughs> to pop one and I'm just going to, I'm going to just fire it, it off at me. Yeah. yeah. With my thumb. <laughs> All right. So I have 30 left. Oh my God. <laughs> can I, can I have one? One health point from your Tylenol. Is, is it temporary hit points? I can't remember if it's temporary I hit mean, points. I mean, yeah, or... but we'll count it as a regular one if you want. It doesn't matter. Wow. Oh, hey, new rogue, hit me up. I need some healing too. <laughs> is that true? <laughs> it, yeah, I'm not I'm not at full health. Yeah. When did I didn't I don't remember seeing you fight. At oh, all. You I stood there. I fell off the carriage. I fell off. Thank you, Doctor. Almost Deputy. got run over. I fell oh, off the, yeah, the carriage, yeah, and I think maybe that's scary. where my very important bag of holding that has the items. We okay, need yeah, just take it. Just take it. Just take it, and then I <laughs> fling it in your mouth. Nom, 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 nom. It's twenty nine. All right. <laughs> right. Twenty six. <laughs> what about you, Rumple Foreskin? Did you see a bag? Not that I'm aware of, no. I don't really need bags. I don't even have skin. Okay, I guess. Yeah, I ran out. Also, I have a knife now. This is the best day. We can kill anyone who looks like Tyler, okay? Ugh, good job, Dr. Deputy. <laughs> just remember, oh, thank you. Just remember, Dr. promotion? Hey, I'll tell you what. You find my bag, you'll get a promotion. D- Dr. Yeah. Deputy, sorry, I just want yeah. to remind you. Remember, you have arcane talents that you don't even realize. Okay, so when the time comes, you can always use your natural talents to cast a guiding bolt. I want you to know that. Oh, Oh, yeah, yeah, I can summon the god of death. Yes. What? Oh, yeah, he he can do lightning bolt stuff. He only did that once, though. Yeah, I only did it one time, and then Uncle Juice got mad. I need a drink. But now I can only do it to people (laughs) who look like evil boss. Yes. Yeah, I'm I'm taking out a health potion. a strategy or should I just go? I got a knife and I'm fast. No, no, you stay with me. Together. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess we just we just venture forward upwards and um, may Ezra be on our side. Yeah, oh, like okay. Merit you guys said, you head up. I'm going to... Tyler's up there, yeah. Okay, I'm going to blow my, my whistle, summon some rad people, and then uh, I'll, I'll, I'll meet up with you. Just like wait, there's probably some sort of boss door. Just like wait at the door. Mm-hmm. Didn't help go. at all in that last fight. I nearly died. I thought this was like your bag. Like you wanted to like conquer and shit like that. Like I get can't to. I can't conquer without my bag, Tyler. Also, that guy clearly sucked. He like he got killed by a pig. <laughs> That's a fucking boar, uh, and those oh, things are right. like under regular circumstances they are lethal. They will kill you. I don't know. I uh, mean, like he got not one, look impressed with Shadow Nemesis right he now. He got though. sliced and diced real quick. Oh, well, that's all I'm saying. Look, if I had my bag, I can do stuff. Where's my bag? Well, what? while everybody is wasting time, I'm going to talk to Werner Herzog and <laughs> ask Werner Herzog, maybe if he has a ghost story for me that will help in our <laughs> battle oh, upcoming. Yeah, there's, there's always someone with a story around here. They won't shut up about it. All right. Well, tell me, tell me what the ghosts have to say. All right. Everyone get in line. The first one gets to tell this story. Oh, well. This is <laughs> the one I didn't get to use last time. It is the tale of the Avenger. Ooh. And God it damn. is. Uh, for one minute, any creature that hits the target with a melee attack takes force damage equal to roll of the Bardic Inspiration die. So I have to cast it on someone, but it will be useful in a melee fight. Mm-hmm. All right, so tell this this one werefolk here. Uh, they, they say the name is... Uh... Chet Chettington, I don't know if you know uh, them, ooh. very recently dead. And they said they're, they're willing to do like a possession, like a possession light. So, you know, they're not going to take over the body or anything. Normally it'd be a bit of a story, but if you could just whisper, Chet Chettington, mm-hmm. come in. Then they'll go into whoever, you know, you want them to. And then, bam, uh, Chet Chettington will help lash out with spiritual energies as long as you're being hit or whatever. You know, just generally pissed off kind of animal person. Yeah, that's super helpful. Thanks, Werner, and th- thanks, chat. Hopefully we can get you in there, Chattington. Yeah, hopefully they'll be able to help. Okay, goodbye. Uh, okay. If Adam dies, that'd be really cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. it. Okay, thanks. Uh, Ryan, health potions are 2d4 or 1d4? 2d4. Okay. 
three, and three. For a total of six, I'm almost at full health. <laughs> oh, boy. This boy. So generally speaking, you have healed up. Right now, the pitch has been to continue forwards while Shadow Nemesis wants to stay behind to play his, and I quote, whistle. Are you moving forwards without him? Do you want to try to debate this? What is your uh, intention right now? No, I actually think it's probably best that we go on ahead. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, he'll be just as effective, uh, you know, not yeah. with us as he was with us just now. So, And now yeah, we got go. Rumple Foreskin with us because I right. brought them all the way up. So, Thanks, Oh, Foreskin. Yeah, uh, no, we could, we could do this. Yeah. I blow into my uh, my bat whistle and, and, and uh, summon... Uh, Ivan as well. It's like, well, might as Ivan well. reappears right next to you. Oh, hey, man, what do you need? Hey, uh, uh, you mind uh, flying up ahead and uh, just scouting things out for me? Uh, just stay within telepathy reach. I just want to know what we're up against up that way. Oh, yeah, I can totally do that, man. All right, I'll go up ahead and you guys just follow. I'll like, stay within the loop so that we can chat. Great. Sounds good. I'm ready to go if you guys are. Let's yes. get going. All right. uh, good luck, me... Shadow Nemesis, with whatever you're doing. Well, uh, well, can like, can I, uh, well, look, I want to help. Okay. I just, uh -huh. I don't understand why you're not helping me. I just need to find this bag because my ax is busted and this like Robocop data spike isn't going to do much. There is well, where do you think you lost in... your bag? Where do, where do you oh. think you lost it? Oh, rumble foreskin. I don't know. And black tears start pouring down my face. <laughs> I, I accidentally fell out of the carriage and <laughs> yeah, I must, maybe it rolled out there. Maybe it dropped out of my when I was climbing up the stairs, I don't know. I'm so lost. All right, so you're saying it's several miles away. So right now, I think it might be time for you to move on, unless you want to go back down a tunnel and go several miles away to, I don't know, search the rocks. Well, like, what, what can we, like, look for it after? I'm not going to be much help. I don't have anything to help you. I'm just going to stand there, I guess. The spike thing you is don't, good. Do you, do you have a gun? Yeah, you I have a gun. gun. You have a fucking gun. I you forgot. Got a gun. Yeah, and Shadow got... Nemesis, mm -hmm. if we run into one of the big doppelganger baddies, yeah. who's to say you can't take what they have? Ugh, I'm yeah, feeling... Pick up a I knife. Need, I need compliments. Can somebody just kind of get my, my, my spirits up? I'm feeling so down. Uh, I'm like crying. I'm like, oh, my bag. So everybody can give one compliment. Oh, I hope they're good to really make me want to fight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Shadow Nemesis. Yes, Dill. We really missed you when Dr. Deputy had your body because you are the strongest one here and you're going to go kick so much ass and there's going to be so much blood and we're going to clap and it's going to be super cool because you're awesome. Ooh. Well, Dill, that's really... That that's really nice of you. Thank, yeah. thank you. A anyone else want to pipe up and, and cheer me up? You were really good at uh, deceiving Dr. Deputy and saying that Ezra was behind his uh, death. And that was a good thing to, to uh, teach Dr. Deputy that. But that's not a nice thing, new rogue. That you're a king of, of deception, and that's an admirable quality in uh, in Ravenloft. Ooh, you are and a rat king. This say I'm the rat king. You are the you are the rat king. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Tyler. You were saying I wasn't, but oh, well, uh, go on. You're uh, you're 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 a good looking guy. You're handsome. All right, let's go kick some ass. And I pipe my, I pop my, uh, my Robocop spike, and I'm like, this way. And I march forward. We'll find my bag later. All right, so Shadow Nemesis is in the lead. How is everybody else following so I can picture this? I'll come up behind there just so I can stay in range of uh, Ivan and get little updates on what to expect up ahead and let Shadow Nemesis know. Mm -hmm. uh, is this is this a uh, uh, little tunnel that we're in? Is it it's on a curve or it's just going straight and and up? It's curving and moving upwards. It's like a flat staircase essentially. It's a polished floor. It's not that steep, but you can feel with the curve. And you remember seeing the central trunk of the tree. Mm -hmm. You'd heard from Merith, I believe, mentioned that this was the trunk. So you know that you're going to be going up and curving around. This has clearly been established over time, working within the wooden framework. So uh, it's. 
a ways, but it's it's wide. It's high ceilinged. It's wide. There's plenty of space here. Yeah, I'm just going to hug the um, the outside wall that gives me the best peek at uh, what's beyond. You know, the, the the wider side of the curve. Yep, that makes sense, Dell. Yeah, I think I'm going to just bring up the rear with Rumpel Foreskin and a boar. <laughs> Is Jack Magnum still on Rumpel? Jack Magnum is riding Rumpel Foreskin's mm, saddle, just okay. perched up top, staring forwards majestically. Very good. Love you, Jack. <laughs> and I will, <laughs> I will give Rumpel Foreskin a knowing uh, shoulder blade pat. Like, <laughs> yes, good. <laughs> yeah, Do, I no, nice to be here. Do I catch that? Do I catch that? What friends. the pat on the shoulder? We're well, friends. she said, she said knowing. Yeah, she knows she likes <laughs> likes him. Yeah, yeah. Well, are, are you leading us and walking backwards? Is that what you're doing? Just looking back at the rest of us? I, I, I'm taking peeks back in case my in case I saw my bag somewhere. I'm like, my, my? no, okay. <laughs> so oh, Ivan God. is ahead scouting as you advance forwards, and you just see a blip. You, mm-hmm. you go up. You you continue for about five more minutes as you advance up. And then there's just a blast, and Ivan is gone. <gasps> oh, oh man, is he dead? Was that th- was that what I, that means? I think so. Uh, <sighs> hang on, and I I can't remember how many uses I get, but I'm gonna blow the bat whistle one more time. Uh, hey, man, go. I'm back. What's up? Hey, what happened? I, I was flying, and then I got hit with something. Then poop, gotta go home. Yeah, you didn't see anything then, or. or... Oh hit. no, man! That was so fast. I didn't see nothing. I was just home. Uh, okay. Uh, approximately how far ahead did that happen? I said like maybe sixty feet from. You're still where we left, right? Yeah, he's yeah. the same spot. About sixty feet from here, man. All right, Shadow Nemesis, sixty feet ahead. Something hit Ivan here and hmm. took him out. Uh, he's you know he's a bat, so he's not as tough as you or I or anything like that. But this is still, true. Watch out. Okay, knowing that, uh, how tall are the uh, is the ceiling like to the ceiling? Ceiling's about ten feet up from where you are. Okay, I'm gonna like spider climb up and kind of stick to the ceiling and and try to stay as low as I can on the ceiling and like kind of like make my way up on the ceiling. All right, so you are advancing from above. Yeah. Is everybody else matching his pace? How is your advance working? <sighs> I'll. Uh... I'll go up ahead with him. You guys hang back a little bit, you know, keep coming up. Does that sound good? Yeah, I'm okay. going to hang back a little bit. Okay. I'm going to use my um, hex blood magic to cast Disguise Self, and I'm going to basically go bald uh, and just start walking up the tunnel, just saying, Hecklin, Hecklin, Hecklin. Can you create additional arms? Uh, this doesn't explain the disguise self spell, but what I think it means is that the arms would be there, but if someone were to touch them, they would just like phase through, like they are illusory. Okay, yeah, I'll yeah, no, that makes sense. All right, can you roll me a performance? Um, you can seem one foot shorter or taller and can appear thin, fat, or in between. You can't change your body type, so you must adopt a form that has the same basic arrangement of limbs. So this does not work. Okay, no, I would say you could turn yourself into one of them with only two arms. Can you roll me a performance with disadvantage? Yes. So we'll use the nine instead of 11 for a performance plus two, back up to 11. No. Mm. All right, so you are advancing forwards. Dell, new rogue. I'm imagining with Rumple Foreskin and Dr. Deputy, unless you're carrying him with you, Shadow Nemesis would be with the rest of the party. Um, yeah, I, I, I would assume he just kind of like scuttled on me somewhere. So maybe he's now like on, on my stomach as I'm like kind of scuttling around. Yep. He's there with a dagger. That's as big as he is just <laughs> waiting for action. All right, let me see. <laughs> you advance along this thing. Can you roll me a perception shadow nemesis and a perception Tyler? Perception. Oh, zero. Perception's pretty good. It is. 16 for Tyler. Uh, We're seeing the exact same thing. 16. All right, you're both making your way forwards. The nice thing about these tunnels is they're relatively consistent. You haven't seen a big change in terms of the format or the layout, so you're advancing your way forwards. And that's when you, at the just the moment too late, 
that heartbeat too late where you're watching the tunnel and you're watching and you miss a small cutout that's been carved into the side with magic. And inside it, you both at this last second spot two Jekyllins. You hear them just saying, Jekyllin, Jekyllin, Jekyllin. They look just like Tyler. They have a full head of hair. They have horns. They have two arms, but they have no beards. And one of them is looking away, distracted, glances over and sees Tyler. You see that one shrug and just go back to what they're doing. And the other one's eyes widen and they raise a hand and just go. (laughs) 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 Blast out of their palms towards you, Tyler. What is your AC right now? Uh, I'm probably out of blade dance at this point. So it's 17. 17. Okay. This is... First one will miss. Yes. Ooh. The second one will hit. Fuck. Oh. The third ray meets it, beats it, will oh, also right. hit. Oh, no. So three flaming blasts soar out of this hand, just powering forwards. The first one goes past you as a two-armed Jacqueline Tyler. And there is a two-armed Hecklin. And mm-hmm. it, <laughs> I got to remember the difference. And <laughs> Not going to matter now. <laughs> uses that first ranging shot to shift its aim towards you and you will take seven damage from the first blast Wowzers. and five damage from the second as flames wash over your body i am bad at this game uh, I, uh, <laughs> oh no uh the beams just burn away my illusory form uh and i'm knocked on my ass i'm not dead but i am once again, folks, in a bad way. <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> you have been heartily blasted. Shadow Nemesis is up top. Your other friends are 30 feet behind you following up. Can you all roll me initiative? Oh. And we'll take a quick break right here. Yeah. All right. What did you all roll for initiatives? I Dirty 20. Oh, nice. Ooh. Nice. Nice, nice. I rolled nice. a 14. Uh, I was a 10. Six. (laughs) (laughs) Fall backwards. Okay. Too many NPCs. We love them. We got 19 more coming your way, buddy. The amount of the rat people you told me there were. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, rats. Ah, uh, rats. Or like, ah, uh, rats. Because oh I want God. rats. <laughs> you see? You I don't me? get it. I don't get it. <laughs> Jesus Speak Christ. Speak English, Doc. We ain't scientists. <laughs> That's a great one. All right. Oh, wait, I need the boar. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> the boar gone, Del's Yay. turn. All right, Del, mm-hmm. you are the first to act, mm-hmm. but I will flag the boar is also going to be acting on your initiative, and Rumpel also ended up with a dirty 20. So you yeah! are moving as the oh, trio. Oh, what do you tell your That's friends to do? Right what there. do you do? You are 60 feet back from the two Jekyllins that are in this alcove. Oh, Tyler's 30 feet ahead of you, oh, having perfect. been thoroughly blasted with fire. Great. Um, before, uh, I, yeah, I'll turn to everybody. I'm like, okay, team, move out. We got to take down those no beard Tylers. And as I'm walking forward with the crew, uh, I will look over to Tyler and say, come on, Tyler. Oopsie daisy. Get up. We love you. And I got stealing word on it. <laughs> oh, and I got Max Keelan. Seven HP back to Tyler. Oh my gosh. And then as we're That's walking forward, for closing in on the baddies, I will, whichever one is in the middle, it doesn't matter. I will put, grab my back and pull out the cool bow. And I'm going <laughs> to use the cool bow and shoot one of them or attempt to. Nice. All right. Roll the hit. Let's see what happens. All right. It is. That is a 16 to hit. 16 to hit. 16. 
will hit. So the <sighs> bow says Ooh. something really cool. What does it okay. say as you open fire? You know, fling the bow out, and it's like free healthcare. <laughs> <laughs> And that's five damage coming from the cool bow. Five damage. Very, very nice. Okay. It's ironic, too, because you're actually hurting him. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to need it. Really? Oh, oh. <laughs> and the arrow thuds into this Jekyllin, punching through the torso. He staggers but still stands. What do you tell your companions to do? I'm like, uh, to the boar, I'll be like, Get the one I shot. <laughs> Get a boar. <laughs> and he <laughs> he's dashing forwards and gets 10 feet closer than you. But he can sprint the rest of the way or not fight, or he can stay where he is. What do you want him to do? Oh, yeah, he should sprint the rest of the way because then he's stopping them from closing in on the rest of them. So. And he, he gets 10 feet ahead of you and you just go, wee, 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 and he sprints <laughs> as fast as he can and gets to the edge of the alcove, just menacing them as a boar. Yeah. Hell Force yeah. is like, do you want, do you want me to charge in like the boar? I can get there, but uh, do you, do you have any long? You don't have a long range fire, do you? No, it's not that long. It's kind of like you gotta, you gotta be up close because it comes from my heart. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll just get closer together. <laughs> Boar's got. Okay, this. I'll, I'll stick with you. Next time we should have you ride me into combat. We just gotta <gasps> think of these things ahead. Oh. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Tyler, this is very different than hearing Shadow Nemesis have a conversation as he did in the previous thing because you watch them fire a bow, a boar storms into combat. They're just chatting as they walk forwards. It's the most <laughs> real life Hollywood action movie thing <laughs> you have seen happen around you. And it is your turn to act. Tyler, what do you do? Oh, man. I, I scramble to my feet. I'm just, I'm so mad at getting caught out like this you know what i mean uh and uh, uh the boar is up in the face of one of these guys yeah so the two are inside an alcove on the wide like if you're looking at the inner and the outer side of the idea of like the more yeah. curving one that new rogue has been working his yeah. way along the alcove is carved into that side of the wall they clearly just hacked it out using magic and we're sheltering inside it it's the equivalent of an alcove there's no actual barrier there's no door they just had a place to duck into there is the boar basically at the front of it, not fully blocking it off. They could move past, but if they want to leave, they will be suffering an attack of opportunity from a boar. Okay. There are I two want... Jekylls in that position. Yes. Okay. I want to try and hit the back row uh, Jekyllin with mm -hmm. this attack of mine. I'm not going up to him. I am staying where I am. I'm just so frustrated. I just, I say, oh, fuck you guys. And I, I conjure an ice knife and I hurl it at uh, <laughs> uh, the, uh, the rear Jekyllin. Okay, um, you haven't done this before. Please walk me through how Ice Knife works. I have done Ice Knife once before, but that was way oh. back when we were fighting an automaton army uh, controlled by the judge. Oh, yeah. oh, oh correct, correct. Yeah. Back to season one. So I don't want to harm the boar with this spell. It's got a little bit of splash damage, so that's why I'm trying to hit the rear one, hoping to just mm -hmm. nail the one in front of him afterwards. But yep. uh, I am basically, uh, uh, I reach up kind of just back over my shoulder um, and uh, just the air uh, uh, gets cold and condenses uh, into vapor, which condenses into ice in my pinched fingers. I just let fly a an ice, excuse me, a knife made of ice. Uh, and we will see if it hits. Um, does this get the plus one from the brick of the... Yes, this will. How is the brick involved in this summoning and throwing? Oh, that's a good point. Um, uh, well, I've got it affixed to my sword, so I, I just have my hand back there uh, as well, and um, it, uh, uh, the, it, like, frosts over, and then that, mm -hmm. like, transfers into this uh, growing ice knife in my hand before I let it fly. Great. So it grows out of the brick off of the exposed nail. Yeah. And you can throw it forward. So let's see what happens. Oh, please be enough. 16 plus six to hit would be with the plus one for that 22. Most wow. definitely hits. Wow. Great. Okay. So the Jekyllin that I hit takes 1d10 piercing damage. Okay. I rolled a five for that, for the knife hitting him. Okay. Uh, knife, uh, 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 and then hit or miss, 
Uh, the shard then explodes. Uh, the target and each creature within five feet of the point where the ice exploded must succeed on a deck saving throw or take okay, 2d6 cold damage. Deck saving throw from someone like me is going to be 13. Ooh, 13. Okay. So pass. That is a fail. The boar is close. All right. So the boar will end up getting splashed with this, but the oh, Jekyllin that you tagged with this also gets hit. Okay. Uh, screw it. I'm going to uh, burn another spell slot t- for okay. my reaction while this is going on for silvery barbs because it also applies to saving throws. Okay. So the Ooh. other one fails the saving throw. So okay. you've tagged them both with the additional. You got all three. The yeah. boar was a bonus, but hey, he's here. But to I can choose live a different creature. Die tonight. With silvery barbs, I can choose a different creature uh, that then gets advantage on the next oh. attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. So I would like to give that to the boar. To the boar? To, Great. To have advantage Whoa. on the saving throw. And Look the boar passes. So Look you have this. this. I'm so mad, you guys. Um, and I'm just <laughs> burning through stuff just to put these idiots down. There's like some, we'll have to unpack the fact how much I hate these guys that look exactly like me, but we don't have time for that right now. Uh, um, so that's 2d6 cold damage. Great. A uh, total of seven cold damage. All right. They both take hearty damage from thrown knives, bow fire and exploding ice. Is there anything else you do, Tyler? If they're still up, I'm, Oh, fuck, I've learned my lesson. I'm just not a front lines guy. I want to run back from where I came. If I k- walked into their view, I want to I want to get yeah, out of line of sight. I want to retreat. Right now, you are 30 feet from them. Dell is next to you. Rumple Forskin is next to Dell. The boar is up ahead. New Rogue is behind you. Shadow Nemesis and Dr. Deputy are above you. You want to move back and I out wanna of sight? Run, I want to run back to New Rogue then, yeah. Great. Yeah. Dell, you walk forwards having this casual conversation with Rumple Forskin as you're firing a bow and setting a board into combat. You see Tyler do the coolest piece of ice magic ever, and he turns around and books it the fuck out of here. That's good. That's good. Yes, good. Shadow Nemesis, you are up top with Dr. Deputy as you see this happen. What do you do? Um, okay, so is is one of the Tylers more damaged than the other? Or can I tell that? Or uh Mechanically, they both look like they've been blasted about the same amount. One took a bow shot and the other took the knife before the knife exploded. They just don't seem to be doing well. Okay. Um, I have an idea and you tell me if I can do this or not. Um, I kind of, I, I go to Dr. Deputy. And I'm like, all oh, right, Dr. Deputy, remember just as we practiced and uh, hold the knife over your head, like a spear. And I kind of want to like, I want to go off the roof, dive at one of them with my data spike to try to like stab it. And with my other hand, I want a fastball special Dr. Deputy <laughs> at the at the second one. I will allow this because you both actually ended up with the exact same initiative score. So this is perfect. Oh, so yay! you attack one and he attacks the other. So you are coming from above in an act of supreme surprise. I'm going to give you advantage on this because Ooh. you've got a lot of things working in your favor. Sweet. All right, I go fastball special, and I throw Dr. Deputy, and okay. I go to stab the guy right in the face. Ooh, oh, yeah. Oh, I, <laughs> I haven't actually fought anybody in a while. That's like, <laughs> I'm like, die, what do I do? Um, well, that is a total of, <laughs> I use my battle axe stats, even though it's my okay. data spike. So that is a total of 24. 24. Okay. Uh, no, your battle axe has been broken. Do you have your rapier stats still? Oh, um, I, I have a note here saying it was also because it was in that little, little wrist guard thing that it was mm-hmm. the same or it that could... it was the same for flair. Yeah. Like that will, we'll allow that. So how much damage is that again? Sorry. Uh, 20, 24 to hit. 24 to hit will hit. What's your, okay. what's the damage? <laughs> that 24 absolutely hits. Yes. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, 1d8 plus three. Let me find my d8. Is that the d8? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> uh, 1d8 plus three is a total of seven. Nice. Seven. Okay. You sink your blade into this Jekyllin and you see the doctor deputy soar down and just stab the knife into the other Jekyllin's shoulder. He's prison shiving yeah. him while standing on him. 
You are both doing hardy damage, but these Jekyllins are still standing. Uh-oh. New Rogue, you stand 60 feet from this combat. You can hear it just around the corner. You know what's happening. Tyler is running back towards you away from the sounds of fighting. He <laughs> has been charred. And then a weird thing that you would have seen enough times with the amount of healing that you've done, you can actually see that he's also been healed. So he has the charred version of his flesh flaking off of pink, fresh skin underneath where he's been healed. Oh, what do you do? Um, he still needs some healing. Um, healing words, a bonus action. Yeah, uh, correct. Okay. okay. Well then first I'm going to say, don't worry, pal. New rogue's there for you. I heal you with my word. <laughs> and that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> uh, one, D, one D4 plus my spell casting modifier. Which will be a one. Yeah. And I yeah. think you get to add a bonus three because you believe in Ezra so much. So that's it'll be one right. D4 plus four. Oh. Okay, that's uh, tw- that, uh, and my mo- okay, so okay, so one d four plus four, eight. Wow, nice, eight. max, max, Shit. max. Yeah, the that- healing word of word brings you a great deal of healing time. Yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. now oh. to send these bastards back to hell. Go get them, um, buddy. Okay, and then I just pull up my short bow. <laughs> okay, and great. So you're gonna have to move forward to where Dell is so you can get in sight, but you can easily do that. That's your your thirty feet of movement, and you get okay. your short bow. Ta-da. And then Take I'm your just, shot. Here goes. This one's from my uncle. No, I'm not gonna say that. Um, <laughs> uncle. Uh, this one's from me. I'm Uncle Juice. Bye. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and here goes. Do I add anything onto that roll? Do I get to add anything to that roll? That's a that's a that's a ten. What did you roll? A ten. <laughs> uh, let me double check. Uh, this is your short bow. Well, plus your yeah. bow, I guess, right? It's what's true. your what's your? Oh dexterity right, right, right. But don't, don't, this is just to hit, right? Yeah. Yeah, it'll be dexterity and your proficiency will be what you'll be adding to yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see what that is. That's uh, okay. Oh, plus two. Oh. No, that's a damage type. Attack bonus. Oh, okay. Uh, that is... Sorry, give me a second. Okay, okay, that's like a... Oh, I'm adding my attack bonus to it, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a 16. That's great. 16? Plus six, nice. Yeah, because my, my dexterity plus my attack bonus. Oh, holy shit. Yeah, that's a 16. Well, no, 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 no. Your no. dexterity nope. is plus what? <laughs> Oh fuck me! Okay. Your, your dex is already incorporated into your attack. Bonus. Yeah, that's a just 15. whatever the okay, that's 15. 15. That's a fifty. So it was plus five. Was your attack bonus with your bow? Yeah, no, it's a plus four with my uh, short bow, and then the dexterity is plus one is one. Yeah, no, it's okay. It's already in the if you have the attack bonus listed next to the short bow. My that's bad. That's okay. <laughs> so your total will be your ten plus four, correct? Yeah, <laughs> it's a fourteen. Oh up. man, going down. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you're not you're not going down. You just fire and miss. There are yeah. a bunch of people diving into combat. There is a boar standing nearby. Everybody's doing a lot. But the nice thing is you don't hit anyone either. Yay. <laughs> so you shoot through the <laughs> combat and hit the back wall. Is there anything else you want to say or do? No, I've embarrassed myself enough. I'm like, oh, oh, okay. And then I, 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 I slink back a couple of steps and like holster my short bow. <laughs> Just stand there. Um, I'll, I'll come in, come in, in a sec. Close quarters. <laughs> That's what you say to Dell, who puts away her really cool bow, having completely nailed it. As you stand there with your spinning mist rock and your mist cape, the chosen one, feeling like you're not quite nailing it. And that's when you see the third Jekyllin come down the hallway from around the corner. Third Jekyllin. Let's take a quick commercial break right there. Oh, man. No! There's more of them! With the joys of dice, the Jekyllins rolled two fours and a two. (gasps) Which is why everybody got to go before them. But now it is evil's turn. Oh, man. Oh, Oh, man. Mm. In combat, I have to get out a different spell thing. Just a second. Oh, combat, baby! Oh, we're gonna Uh-oh. get hurt Uh-oh. now. Oh, 
It's all fun and games. Run away! Run Shadow away. Nemesis, <laughs> you have stabbed a Jekyll right in front of you oh, yeah. who raises a hand <laughs> and hurls a ball of lightning towards you. However, you do get an attack of opportunity because this is a ranged spell being used in close combat. So roll an attack. Ooh. Ooh. Danger sense. Because I see it. Or is it's that no? It's oh, not, okay. It's not a dodge. You're trying to kill him. So, I mean, danger sense. Yeah, you're like, I am the danger. And then you attack. Oh, I get you. Okay. Um, all right. Attack. All right. That's uh, a plus five. So, seven. Oh. Seven. Sadly, you see this lightning cut building in this Jekyll's hands, and you realize you've your adamantine armor, which will not help you with this, and you lash out hurriedly, but you are already being blasted, and it shakes your muscles so that you miss yeah. with this strike. Oh, no. That is a definite hit uh, with a 24. Whoa! <laughs> oh! <That's two. laughs> Heal me, everyone, I say as I fall. <laughs> Keep healing me. <laughs> Don't stop. That is 12 points of lightning damage that rattled you inside your armor as this orb of lightning smashes into you. Jesus. Good Lord. This, wow. This Okay. The other Jekyllin raises their hands and fires lightning towards the doctor deputy who is stabbing them in the shoulder. No, doctor deputy. But he gets his attack of opportunity, which will hit. He's just stabbing downwards, you know, like he do. Take that head off. But it is not enough to stop this Jekyllin. So an orb of lightning bursts out of their palms towards doctor deputy. And misses. He's so small on the shoulder that it blasts past him and smashes against the wall. Yes. Meaning this Jekyll will also suffer an attack of opportunity from the boar. Yes. Which will hit. And with max damage, this boar, with the highest kill Whoa. count of anyone in the party, yes. gores a Jekyll to death in teams with the Dr. <laughs> Jekyll. But Jekyll yes. dies ugly. Oh, that At boar ain't no snore. Jekyll that has come around the corner and is striding towards combat, raises a hand as it just keeps chanting its own name. Disturbing to see Tyler without a beard. So disturbing <laughs> to see it. And it launches fire towards Adam as the closest threat. Oh. That's a nat 20? No! Oh, man. Uh, it will just be the nat 20 that hits, but it will be doing double damage. <laughs> I don't okay. deserve this. <laughs> <laughs> and that's 11 more fire damage as oh. the the fire <laughs> hammer into your body. I'm looking really bad. I'm old crispy and I'm like that guy in the waiting room in Beetlejuice. I'm just like, ah, <laughs> but just lying there in my really shiny armor. Like, help me, me, me. <laughs> Uh, uh. And as this horrifying exchange takes place, Dell, you find yourself next to Rumple Foreskin, ready to act as the Jekylls are striding into combat. Right now, it is a full action movie around you. As time is slowing, and you realize you and Rumple Foreskin have not been touched. You have just been yeah. using your powers and your animals to lay waste to your enemies. What do you do? Uh, would it would it be possible for me to jump onto Rumple Foreskin? I think I that's will count yes. that as a free action. Yeah, I'll do that. And then I'm like, let's let's get that one in the hallway, the one that is by itself that just came down. And you both charge forwards. Rumple Foreskin has a movement speed of 60, so you can charge all the way to the creature. Dell, I'm imagining you're attacking in some form. What form yeah. would you like this attack to take? Then it's it's reality blade again. Reality blade out. And swoop, swoop, and I'm leaning down over the side of this horse to try and just, as we're running up to it, do a slashy. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> you had me at slashy. All right, let's do this attack. Technically, I will allow you an option one way or the other. One of you will be attacking and the other will innately be flanking. Do you want to be the one who has advantage or do you want Robo Foreskin to have advantage on their attack? Um, I want Rumpel Foreskin to have advantage. Great. So you're rolling just a straight attack. Straight attack, yep. Ooh. It's, it's not good. It's a, just a nine. I'm still getting used to being up on the horse. <laughs> you are riding a horse into combat, not used to it. That's when you realize as you jump up and lower your weapon, Jack Magnum is also on the saddle, and Jack Magnum falls off towards your blade, and you catch Jack Magnum, oh. but don't successfully get to make your attack. However, this, the shrieking goat and you going, oh, really distracts the Jekyllin. So Rumple Foreskin will have advantage on their attack. Which is good, because that'll mean that it hits. And they will do... Oh, my. Yes. They will do 20 points of damage. Oh it moves and flame to this Jekyllin, who is burnt to his crisp and being stomped on by a horse. Wow. As you hang on to a... As you hang on to a goat that you are yeah. keeping safe from conflict that you are keeping safe from conflict, somehow a hero and a killer at the same time. Is there anything <laughs> you say as you watch this Jekyllin being stomped into the floor? I'm, I'm, I'm having this this goat. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. and then I realize what's happening. I'm like, oh, yes. <laughs> yes, Rumble <laughs> Force. <Yes. laughs> Tyler. I'm my life. <laughs> You look ahead and see Dell shrieking yes in joy while holding Jack Magnum, who's squirming as Rumpel Foreskin stomps down on a Jekyllin and breathes fire into its face. The other is heavily wounded, battling an equally, if not more so, wounded shadow nemesis inside an alcove. What do you do? Uh, well, I've uh, outside of combat, I had brought Ivan back to talk to him about how, how he had disappeared to begin with. Um, yep. So I'd like to send him out around the corner into the alcove to cast a spell, a touch spell uh, that I can channel through to him. Yep, he'll be absolutely be able to do that. My familiars can cast touch spells on my turn. That's um, their reaction, but it's my action. So I'm going to cast the cantrip Shocking Grasp on the uh, the first Jekyllin. That's I was going to say, I just realized, and I want to be fully honest, there is a boar that is attacking in yeah. here, so I should do that first in Yay! case the boar can somehow be oh, ultra deadly. Yes, the boar the misses, boar is... so don't worry about it. You're doing exactly what you're doing. Honestly, I'd, I'd give up my turn to let the boar have another go. The boar's doing great. <laughs> so the boar and, and uh, Rumpel Foreskin are cleaning up. Yeah, and my uh, arrows. So <laughs> You're helping. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. Good job. <laughs> Uh, so that's 19 plus five plus, uh, just plus five. Cause I'm not, it's yeah, you will through. definitely hit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just a D eight, but I'm still back here and safe Four, uh, four lightning damage. And if he's still standing, he cannot take reactions because he's been tased. Okay. He is still standing. He has been tased. He is looking loopy on his feet. There may yeah. as well be birds circling over his head. He's just... Right. Jack, uh, <laughs> Jack, uh. He and Shadow Nemesis are slurring words at each other <laughs> as they both <laughs> desperately try to stay on their feet. Shadow Nemesis. Uh, what do you oh. do? <laughs> uh, man, I only... Okay, all right. Um, what's Dr. Deputy doing? I, is his guy... His guy is down. He and the boar are finishing it off, but that Jekyllin is dead. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to, uh, I guess, uh, I only got one weapon, so I'm just going to shamble over and, and just, oh, you know what? Okay. I've never done this before, and if this guy's looking loopy, then I think this is just the time to do it. But I'm going to attack recklessly, and that will give Fabulous. me advantage apparently correct yeah. it will yes but then uh it will also give them advantage oh but wait melee attacks does my armor have uh protection against melee attacks it ignores crits oh crit melee okay all right well that's uh, okay just in case all right so i'm yep. 
I'm just yep, in you're pain. recklessly attacking. So what does that look like knowing that you are shambling around as a heavily burnt? Yeah, I feel like your movements now are like Robert De Niro and the Irishman, where you're like, it's a young body, but it's clearly an 80-year-old man trying to fist fight. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like locked knees, just like, yeah, like <laughs> kind of just like shambling up like that, like tick, 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 very like tin man kind of walking towards mm-hmm. him. And uh, I, I, I get, I got electrocuted, right? So I think I'm yep. still like kind of feeling the electricity, and I'm just like, shadow nemesis never loses, and I'm gonna just kind of uppercut him with my blade. Great, roll your attack. You have advantage because you never lose. That's right. Even when it looks like I'm losing, it's actually just a plan that I have. Oh, okay. This is all. As long as you're alive, you're winning. All right, so with a plus oh, five, <laughs> with a plus five, that is uh, 22. 22 will hit. Roll your damage. All right, come on. 1d8. Callum. Callum. <laughs> Callum, Jeremy. <laughs> uh, ooh, okay. So that's a total of 10. <gasps> 10. Tell me how this Jekyllin dies. Well, I'm still electrocuted and shaky, so it's it's kind of like I want it just to be like a clean like whatever, but I'm I'm like really slow with it, so I'm just like <laughs> my arms kind of just no. like shaking, and it and it kind of just like kind of just pokes under his head for a bit and kind of just like wiggles around for a little bit, like not actually going in, and then like <laughs> and I kind of just give it like an extra little shove, and it just like kind of wiggles its way up until it just very shakily just goes through the top of his head and then oh shakily. God. Goes out, and then I just uh, I I'm completely stiff, and I just kind of like tip into a wall, and just kind of like lean there. I'm like save Shadow Nemesis. You got it. And the doctor deputy sprints out of the alcove to go help Rumple Foreskin, and he has advantage on his attack, which will hit, and he does a pretty solid job. Sweet. So he deals five more damage to the Jekyllin being stomped nice. and burnt by the hooves and now being stabbed by a tiny doll with a dagger. And it is New Rogue's turn. New Rogue, you stare at this soon-to-be massacre. There is one <laughs> Jekyllin on the ground, and you can see them raising their hands, ready to fire off magic directly at Dell, who is on top of Rumple Foreskin, celebrating and holding Jack Magnum. What mm. do you do? He's on the floor about to fire? Yeah. Oh. 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 Um, and I'm I'm very close by. I'm I'm within more than You're within 30 feet. feet. You can get there for sure. Okay. All right. Well, I'm just going to take off my boots as I run towards them and I'm going to stomp on its head. <laughs> <laughs> So you're running forwards. Can you roll me an acrobatics? All right. I'll give you advantage on this one. You're pretty coordinated. Yes, I am. Acrobatics. Okay. Give me a second. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, And that's a 13. As you're running forwards, you yank one boot off and have to hop two steps and you almost trip, but you save it. So you've got your boots in your hands and you're running with your spectral feet hitting the ground until you get up to this Jekyllin and you start joining the stomping. There is a doll. (laughs) There is Rumple Foreskin. Dell won't stop screaming. (laughs) Yes. And you get a chance to lash out before this Jekyllin can blast its magic at her. Roll me an attack. It'll be an unarmed attack. God, come on. Okay. Um, okay, great. So that uh, I get to add my modifier. So that will be a 16. That will hit. Roll your damage. Yay. You get your D4 plus your D10 right. plus your strength as listed on the profile. Okay, D4 plus D10. Where the hell are you? There you are. <laughs> uh, plus, yeah, plus a two. Okay, great. Okay. Well, yes, uh, uh, that's a that's a five. <laughs> that's a five. 
which is just enough to kill a Jekyll with the help of the <sighs> doctor deputy. How does this Jekyll die? I, uh, I just hop over and then I make my way right to his head. We lock eyes as, <laughs> as my shadow like casts over his head <laughs> and he sees this looming figure of holy death. <laughs> Yeah. He looks like you remember. And I'm like, <laughs> I wore my dance shoes. And then I raise my foot up and then I just bring it right down heel first. And I crush his head. And it explodes. Yay. Yay. And it does explode. And the Jacklins are dead. And you have this fantastic moment of realizing you've saved Jack Magnum. You've saved Dell. You were fighting shoulder to shoulder with Rumple Foreskin, who you've tried to close the gap with. And you see, as both of you stomp down on this Jekyll at the same time, Rumple Foreskin looks at you, just gives you a knowing nod. You have that moment of connection. And for the first time, you're starting to feel like a real chosen one. You feel like this is possible. You could do this. You could defeat Streamlabbing Tyler. And then you look back and you realize that Shadow Nemesis is almost dead and Tyler's almost died twice. You might be able to be a hero or you might lose everyone and you don't know what's going to happen around the next corner. And that's the end of this episode. Yay! 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 That's the end of this episode, listener, but next week you could become a watcher and affect the Jester's adventures by joining our Twitch stream, which happens every Wednesday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. That's Toronto time. If you join our Twitch chat, you can give the cast magical items, name NPCs, and decide the events that shape Ravenloft. So catch up on the story, follow Dum Dum Dice on Twitch, and join our weekly stream right away. Jesters of Ravenloft features the voices of players Tyler Hewitt, Del Borovic, Guy Bradford, and Adam McNamara, alongside Dungeon Master Ryan LaPlante. This episode was edited and mixed by Laura Hamstra, and Jesters of Ravenloft's artwork was created by Del Borovic at delborovic.com. That's D-E-L-B-O-R-O-V-I-C. Our theme song is Dark Mysterious Halloween Night by Sound Gallery by Dimitri Taras, and our ad breaks use the tracks No Control and Cheaps by Jazzar, J-A-H-Z-Z-A-R, whose music is available at freemusicarchive.org. For all things Dum Dums and Dice, including merchandise and how to join our Patreon, you can visit dumdumdice.com or find us on social media at dumdumdice. That's D-U-M-B, D-U-M-B, D-I-C-E. Now get out of here before the mist gets you too. Dum Dums and Dice has to give a special thank you to the supreme beings of our Patreon at this time. Christopher Little, George Dolby, Richard Cranium, Gavin and Abby McDonald, Logan, Fire Unfriendly, Grandma Likes D&D, Alan, Stabby Stranger, Glitch Trick, Flynn1138, Alorain Okapi, Schrodinger's Pepper, Guy Edwards, Madre de Gatos, Lady Maiden, Garbo Ape, Locke, Sam Schaefer, Waffle Marine, Dagger Rain, Rob L, Dia De Los Hoodless, Squishy Werewolf, Remy Funky Head, Nomad, the wise paladin of the Badlands, Accent Therapeutic Services in Florence, Kentucky, Lale, Shulzari, The Long Family, Jordan Oliver, Richard Wright, Brittany Fenwick, Alex Parr, Old Man Mojo, Dragonfly, The Body Barrelers, Megan Werner, A Man Out of Time, Curtis at FingertechRobotics.com, Panda24NN, Shendra D, Your Homeboy Bones, and Jill and Noel LaPlante. If you want your name to be added to this list, you can join our Patreon too at Patreon.com slash Dumb Dumb Dice. Thanks to them, and a little bit of thanks to you.